Hello, this is Zedes. Welcome back to another Mario Maker 2 video. Clearing more unclear 2019 levels. I have five levels for you that I cleared today. And a sixth one that I gave up on. I think... I don't know. It would take a lot of practice to beat it, but... uh, We'll talk about it a little more later, but it was very difficult. Um... This first level, Mario Winky Face, is a crap level. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. It's, um, I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's, um, pretty garbagey. Uh, you see a giant number five right here. Uh, we'll eventually get to a, a passcode, uh, input screen, and, um, it doesn't really work <laughs> it's janky I'm not even sure how I got it to work uh, I will say um, the WYSIWYG program is now working again uh, hopefully it stays working there was an update I guess in the game that broke it probably updated specifically to break it instead of you know giving us new stuff which uh, they will they will never do uh, they have given up on this game a couple years ago now. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, this this level, um, <clears throat> I just, I, I did use the program on this specific level. I don't think I actually looked at it on any of the other levels, although I had a couple of difficult ones. Um, kind of curious is if there was a hidden power-up, because I did find some hidden blocks in this level, and, uh, there was, there is a mushroom, um, that's very hard to get. Uh, not very hard, but you wouldn't find it if you didn't know about it. But, it ended up being not helpful. I used a program specifically to look at the, uh, at the, um, passcode part because it wasn't working. And it didn't really help me either. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this, uh, yeah, I boot, I boot this, I don't know, maybe a little premature, but there's plenty of reason to boo it, um, I don't like this Hammer Brother part very much, um, and there's also a really cheap thing, too, that I, I found on accident, that we'll see in a minute, I think, so yeah, the, uh, honestly not too unfair, but you can't really see the Hammer Brothers, so, but here's the unfair thing right here, the, the cheap thing. You see that that Hammer Brother jumped down to kill me. And he missed and he fell between the thwomps. He dies in the lava below me and I see that he has a key. Um, that would have been a hard key to find if I hadn't. Uh, there's a hidden block you can get up to him on. Otherwise you just have to hope that he jumps down and, and dies. I probably never would have found that. Uh, if... I hadn't looked in the... Well, if he hadn't killed himself. Now, this part I never really understood. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get that guy. I thought it was a troll. I still think it might be. You don't need to have that thwomp hit that on-off switch. Um. See, I'm not, not quite sure what that's all about. Uh, so... If you're keeping track of the passcode, we had a a five, a six, and another six. But there was also a, a bunch of coins by those thwomps, and I don't really know if I saw that. We're not actually going to get to the passcode right on this life because I messed this up. <laughs> I think we cut right back there. Yeah. Passcode is past this room. So at this point, first of all, I follow these arrows. I think this is also a troll. I didn't notice this until the end. Uh, thankfully, I, I realized it before I beat it. Uh, that that thwomp kills himself, so you can't have him react. But you can't re you know go back in that door. Uh, so yeah, I actually opened the program at this point to make sure I got all the numbers right. The numbers are five, six, two, six. 
that flaunt blocks off a pipe to the right, by the way. If you can kind of see those blue blocks right there. So I'm going to hit this twice. And you notice that there's a giant Koopa shell that fell. Now, I had looked at the program and there's a Koopa that's supposed to walk to the right. If you kill these guys in the right order, he walks to the right through ghost actually. It's a really convoluted setup. And there's a... Uh, I, I don't know why I kill myself here, but I could have just reset. There's no no flag or no uh, checkpoint. I thought if I could get a mushroom this far, I could cheese this, but I never could. Uh, like I said, I, I I'll probably show you in a minute where the mushroom. Here, oh, maybe I'd never show that. It's on the far right of the first uh, screen. Yeah, I, I must never. This, so this is the last. Uh, this is me actually getting through this. Yeah, there is a hidden mushroom. It just doesn't really help because you can't get it past a certain point. Um, so, you, yeah, you have to hit a five and six. And I hit this. I think I'm only supposed to hit this once. So I go over here and hit this six. There is a giant two by those swamps, though. It's hard to read as well. And then I kind of wait and nothing happens. And I'm like, well, I'll, I'll go over here and hit this one more time. And then I don't kill the Koopa. So I wait, and he, and he hits the, the P-switch. Um, yeah, I don't know why he was dying. I, I couldn't, obviously I couldn't see it. But it's like... It was jank, anyway. I, there's, a, there's a giant muncher, and it, it crushed the Koopa. But I don't know how I avoided that that time. Yeah, total, total junk level. Um, garbage. Ratings-wise, I'd probably give it a 2 out of 10. That's pretty crappy. So yeah, not not a good level at all. Um, took me about 30, 30 tries. Like I said, that's the only one I opened the program for. Uh, just because I couldn't figure out what to do. Actually, the first time I opened the program was just to... Uh, to see if I got the numbers right, because I didn't remember there being four numbers. Uh, anyway, here the, the second level is definitely not my favorite level, uh, but it's one of the weirdest uh, kind of. It's kind of like a dare level. I don't know. It's it's a bizarre level. I quite I kind of like it. Uh, I give it probably a six out of ten. I do boo it though. Um, and this is almost like a bean burrito level uh, where you have to kind of do stupid things for a very long period of time and then they make you do it again when you thought but it's it's a it's more clever than a lot of the, the bean burrito levels I've seen DGR play um, yeah I almost wish I could take the boo back it's it's tedious but it's it's pretty amusing I, I was laughing the whole time I was playing this level it's so stupid so <clears throat> You grab a P-switch, and you go through the door, and it drops you on a, f a flying block, a flying question block. And there's a Lakitu who comes up pretty quick and starts throwing spinies on you. And then a second one, and then a third one, fourth one, and a fifth one, finally. Now, chances are they're not gonna hit you with these spinies. Um, but you gotta, you, you basically have to sit there and very carefully watch where they throw these spinies. A lot of time, most of the time, they're like way off. But every once in a while, one hits a bullseye and throws it right at your face, and then you have to try to dodge it by jumping off the block. And so, sometimes they throw it in such an angle that like you can't dodge it. Once in a while, I, I, yeah, look at that. Um, once in a while. You know, if you're not paying really close attention, you get like scared and you walk off the block. I, I also find it kind of weird, you know, your position is kind of weird when you're holding something. Uh, and then you have to throw the, the P-switch up and hit this on-off switch. <clears throat> because there's a, another room that you saw me die in earlier. Full of munchers, but if the P switch or the on and off switches, you have to jump too. Uh, so you go in this room, 
and it kills all those monsters. And there's a, another flying block with a key, but problem is, you need to hit that right under the door. He leaves the muncher in here to kill you, even though, you know, you don't need to. So, but yeah, you have to you have to use that block to get under the door. I didn't realize that. I, you know, I immediately got in here. I'm like, oh, this is this is I've beat this level finally. This tedious level, I beat it. And uh, nope, there's uh, there's some extra steps that uh, I wasn't accounting for. And I'm looking for hidden blocks. Uh, I did not look in the program here. I, I hope he's not cheating. Um, he might he might be cheating, but I I just took it on faith that he wasn't. Here here I am again. I'll get a hit right under the door, and I hit it too high, and I can't enter the door. It's on the it's on the door. Yeah, keep in mind I had to go through that two minute process of floating on that block. Here I am. We're at the end of this. <clears throat> you see me catch the P switch too. Um, it's not super important right now because the P-Switch would reappear if I didn't have it. Yeah, you have, you have to hit it right there. And then I'm like, okay, let's go on the key door. And I realize the key door has an on-off block under it. So guess what? And here I am in denial about it, but I'm like, you, you, you got to be kidding, right? Yeah, you got to go through this again. And I get nailed. Yeah, this, this level took me 45 minutes. Uh, like I said, it's stupid, tedious, but it is actually pretty amusing. Um, but yeah, this 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 room... I think, uh, yeah, this is uh, the life where I beat it. We're going to watch the whole thing. You're going to suffer with me. I, I went through this room, I don't know, probably like... 40 times, I swear to God, I don't know. Um, sometimes, the f I think I think the time I beat it, I barely even had to dodge these things. They were just thrown wildly, and that's that's best case scenario, because at least uh, it's not super easy to to dodge one when they come for you. So you have to jump around and land back on that block. And the more there are, the harder it is to keep track of them. And also notice that the, the second one and the fifth one are on a level where you can't see where they're throwing the spiny. So sometimes it's a, they, it comes as a surprise. Yeah, sometimes I, I go through this whole ride and not have to not have to move once. And sometimes it would just be once. And then other times it would be like they would be a, a crack team of assassins. Um, and then you get to this point and their spine is just raining all down on you. Not wasting any time here, let's go back. Round, round two. You almost wish there were more of them. <laughs> just to keep you on your toes. The second time through. Like maybe the uh, maybe the uh, on-off block was spawn blocking a couple of them. No, that would just be cruel. I don't want to give this guy ideas. I should check out more of this guy's levels just because, like I said, this is probably the, if if you call it a bean burrito, it's more it's way more amusing than most bean burritos. Um, a lot of it is just standing there. You're also holding the run button, obviously, so it's kind of uh, annoying. You can't. Uh, you have to keep your hand in, in on the controller perfectly uh, ready to move when you need to. <clears throat> the worst is when they come in from the left and they throw it, and I know I know I've I've dodged them and also got hit hit by one that's throwing another one. When you see that fifth one, you're just like, oh come on, come on, come on, let's go. We're so close. And there's one last surprise, too, that I'm not going to show you. That, that, I only had to dodge one that whole time. I think both times I went through there. You do want to catch this P-switch. And you do want to hit it. And just FYI, I did get to this part and didn't hit it. And I, I even thought about it. 
before I went in the store, I'm like, I should probably have hit that P-switch, but I didn't, and I fell to my death. Uh, I didn't show that life, but, um, I d that did happen one time. Yeah, that's, um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's funny, uh, but annoying. <laughs> I'm glad to have beaten that one. Like I said, I, I, I did boo it, but I take that back just because it's an amusing level. But when I, when I first kind of figured out what I had to do on that first block, I'm like, oh my god, this is going to be annoying. Third level, Omega Speed Sky 1 Minute. Um, besides the one I couldn't beat, this is the hardest level. This is um, another one where I, I probably give it a 5 out of 10. Uh, maybe a six. It's it's a pretty good hard speed run, but it's there's some parts of it like this is this is one of those levels like how over spiked. It's just you're basically going down spike tunnels, and any minor jump you're gonna get hit by a spike or you you, you miss. You have to be very precise about where you go. Um, it just gets irritating, um, cause it's like, you don't have to be this, you know, you don't have to be this spiked up, man. And there's very little direction in what to do, too, so you really have to, like, play it a lot to figure out what's going on. Um, and along, along with the ways that you have to dodge the spikes, it's just, it just becomes really irritating. This... This first little spike tunnel is so obnoxious, but it's that's not the only. <laughs> There's a lot of obnoxious things about this level that I don't like very much. Um, yeah, and you see, there's a cape feather, and so we're in a hurry to get down that corridor for sure. It does it does turn out, although I think there's ways to save a lot of time, but it does turn out this is a very tight speed run as well. And you know, I'm cutting out. Tons of life. I, he didn't tell me to Z, and I did Z. Uh, mistake. <laughs> he wants you to go up and down that tunnel with the with the cape. I just want to see what's up here. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to get to that feather in time. Here, we're gonna regular fly, and I'm gonna get hit, which is okay because when you get hit as, with the cape, you have a invincibility frames that you don't lose the cape on. Um, this section is very annoying. Um, <clears throat> you have to flow in very precisely, and I, I didn't show it, but it's very easy to miss that. And then he has these Kaizo blocks, which I never quite understood. Uh, even when I beat it, I, I didn't, I think you can hit that and then fly, but I always hit it and then hit the spikes. Of course, you don't lose your cape. Um... But you can damage boost a little without without actually taking damage. And then he's got a couple of sections where you hit P switches and then have to wait, which is annoying. Uh, I don't really like that design choice at all. Because look, I mean, that's not, after you hit it, you just have to sit here for 10 seconds. That's not good design. Um, naked pipe as well, but I, that doesn't bother me. Some people that drives they drive crazy. But, with it. We're in this room now. Again, here's a here's a Kaizo block. Um, confusing as to what to do. Here's another P-switch section. But if you don't get here with the cape, you, you take too much damage and you have to wait on some donut blocks. So, yeah, here here we're gonna go. Yeah, to, what I usually did is I, is I got that damage boost uh, and, and used it to get up on that thwomp. Here you just wait. There's one final section before the uh, gold tape. And it's a fast piece switch run. I'm already pretty short on time. This is the first time I got here. I probably got here four times before I got through it. But yeah, I didn't have much time at that point. I, I farted around. Uh, is this, is this? Yeah, this is the last round. We're going to see the whole thing here. <coughs> Tight spike tunnel. Okay, flight. It's best if you actually, it's, it's actually quicker if you hit that wall, I think. Ah, uh, maybe not. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't show any lives where I, I bumped my head against the ceiling there. It's very easy. 
So here I'm gonna like get flight again. Yep, I, there's a lot of ways to cut out uh, time on this level, and and you could do it faster than I did. I'm sure. I think his ti upload time was just slightly faster than mine. I almost timed out though. <clears throat> Which uh, makes it a good speed run in a lot of ways. I don't think that's 100% uh, necessary for a speed run to be super tight, but um, my my the speed runs I make are generally uh, tight, hard to do, kind of tight, but you could improve upon it and get you know go for good records. Um, but they're hard to do in general. Here, I love this part. I did die going up that path at least once. Ah, uh, there's some Z, Z flying there. Yeah, um, like I said, I kind of like it level. I kind of like working it out. It was one where I started, I was like, I don't know if I can beat this. This is pretty hard, but I got it worked out. Um, yeah, and not leaving was so tough. It was, it was tough. I, I, another one I would regret booing. I wish I left it neutral. I don't really like it, though. Like I said, there's, there's things I don't like about it. Um, another, another maker I kind of wish I would check out a little bit. <clears throat> so on to the, on to the fourth level, this, um, oh, this is at least, um, tagged as a puzzle level it is it's kind of a pick a path level not really it's not that bad but it's a it's a three out of ten level it's not very good maybe uh, maybe even less than that i think i like it a little better than the first level though uh some hot garbage here for sure uh, a lot of things um probably half i played half of this uh how long it took me anyway and there is a star and it's not even hard to find, I just never really look for it. But most of the time I I try to get these boos in a position where I could get past them. Uh, and then I actually uh, did a pretty sweet little coral dive through these boos. Um, but it turns out that all I needed was a star. Uh, I, did, I messed that one up. I think I'd probably show, show, yeah, right here. Yeah, I get right under him. Pretty good. So we're past the garbage part. The rest of it is kind of garbage too, but it's, um, basically there's, there's three red coins, and then you can get to the end, uh, and you just had to find them. Uh, at the end of this first section, here's one of the red coins. Uh, I don't trust the warp box. I don't know if I'd already seen it by this point. Um, this is a hard level to edit because, uh, or hard, yeah, a hard level to edit because, I don't know, it's a it kind of pick a dory. A bit, a bit pick a dory. But there are death doors, so you, you, you just don't want to go through any of these doors. And, of course, I want a shell. <laughs> Here, here's another death pipe. Yeah, this is definitely a garbage course, no doubt, but, but, you know, you just have to find the right path, find the three coins, find the key door, and then you're done. Here's where I find the key door. <coughs> but there's no way back, so you're screwed. It's just another death door unless you have a key. So here I have a shell. There is a spot. Oh no, I messed. I messed that up. I, I'm surprised I lived that life. But I wanted to get into that pipe right, th right there. <laughs> Some exclamation blocks that I absolutely do not trust. Yeah, he makes it. He makes it like in such a way that you just don't want to hit anything because it feels trolly because of the death doors. Um. But these these exclamation blocks actually don't <laughs> kill you shock shockingly. They do lead to the pipes. And I don't even trust the pipes. You can't trust anything in this level, so I'm gonna try to go over 
And it turns out to be a terrible idea. But there's nothing over here. You jump past this, and there's one of the death doors. And as far as I can see, there's nothing over past that. And if, even if I had landed on the other side of the wall, I just would have been stuck. Here, I'm going to try to get through this area with the bomb. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with the bomb otherwise. Uh, but there is a key through this, a key point through this. But I'm actually uh, unsuccessful here. <laughs> I included a couple of amusing deaths in this video because there were a couple really good ones. We'll go through the middle pipe. I don't, I don't have any clue what this means. There's some Japanese up above. That warp block actually leads to the uh, flag, but it's a tease because you can't get it. I, I couldn't find the life that I did that, but that's okay. This video, if you've already noticed, is uh, relatively long. It goes almost to the 40 minute. Um, so I wanted to show you the speed run that I couldn't beat. And this level is, is fairly long, and the final level is relatively long too. I, I actually I decided that I should probably get a fifth level uh, just because I usually include five and then it turned out to be a fairly long level but it was a good level so I wanted to include it. Um, that's okay. Five minutes extra not a big deal. Here's the, I show you the star right there. And I'm gonna stop killing all these guys because I want the star to run out so I can steal one shell. Here's the funniest, stupidest death I've ever had in my life. I did not know that was hap would happen. Uh, I, I found I, you've seen all, me get all three coins, so I just I just did it. And I, you go through the key door, you go through a pipe, and you land right on the flag. Pretty much, actually, if you miss, you're kind of screwed because on the right side you can't get back up. As far as I know, there could be Kaizo blocks there, but who knows? Doubtful. If you're on the left side of the, the flag, you get blocked off, though. So, yeah, pretty crappy. I give him a seriously. Um, yeah, pick, pick a dory, but kind of kind of a puzzle. Kind of works as a puzzle. You just have to find a path to all three keys, and then you can get out. Uh, the final level is probably the best level I played. Uh... Except for the level I couldn't beat, it was actually quite good, I think. Um, maybe it's unfair. I do give that one a like as well. I give this one a heart. I give that one a heart. Uh, this one is a, um, a competent, a very competent uh, Metroidvania type type level. Uh, and by the way, I've never been comfortable with the term Metroidvania. Um, I prefer just to call it Metroid because the Castlevania games, um, the first real metroidvania type castlevania game was symphony of the night which actually came out like a long time after metroid came out so i don't like calling it that but anyway i i think castlevania 2 is sort of like that but i never really liked it so i never played it much um or is castlevania 3 the one that's very metroid like i don't know metroid came out first though Symphony of the Night came out long after Metroid did. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this one is pretty self-explanatory. A uh, lot of red coins, but they're not... You're not going off on wild goose chases. I died three times, all fairly stupid deaths. I should have beat this in one life. Um, but that's okay. Uh, you see, I, I, only, I actually cut out two deaths. One was an experimental death. Uh, but they're all right in this area, too. Fairly soon after this area, I get a power-up so I can survive. And he gives you a, a power-ups quite frequently. Uh, Leafs, uh, Tanuki, Raccoon, Suit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah. When, when platforms have wings, a lot of times I completely miss them. Like, the wings are not... You cannot step on the wings. The wings are not platforms, but... I guess the hitboxes of them look like they should be bigger, but they're not. And I think I ran into one. I, I, I fell down a pit, and I ran into one of these dry bones. 
So I, I, I just wanted to briefly talk about the last level uh, during this one because, like I said, this one's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the last level is an extremely hard Japanese speedrun, and not an unfair one either, and, and fairly originally designed, as far as I could tell, as I didn't get all that far in it. Um, I should really go back and beat that. Maybe I will um, include that in another video, but it's... it's here, here's the thing. I didn't... It looked really hard. I got probably 10 seconds into it. I think it's a 40 second speedrun. Maybe it's 60 seconds even. Uh, 10, maybe maybe 12, 15 seconds. I don't know. We'll see in a minute. But, um... Oh, we got a boot here too. Uh, those are really the only two items you need in this to, to win. Uh, anyway, so... I played it for about an hour. I got a decentish ways in, but there's a couple of like extremely hard jumps. <coughs> and I decided to save it for the morning and I'm like, I, I don't think I can beat this. But I actually did check out like if he had other unclear 2019 levels or unclear levels in general. And I looked through his levels and I mean, I, I think his average clear rate was like, 0.25%, uh, and that's average, that, like, because he had a couple that were easier, uh, he had a couple of 5% ones, a lot of his levels were like, one out of a thousand clears, or one out of, one out of uh, 500 tries, shit like that, and it already had, this level already has 500 plus tries on it, and, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's tough, and I, and I actually looked at, he had, multiple unclear 2019 levels probably about five or six of them and i looked at every single one and yeah <laughs> i'm just not sure this is something i'm gonna be able to do uh in fact the one i was playing might have been one of the easier ones but the thing is he also had a couple of he's had a couple of players who who dedicated uh their time to trying to clear his levels the levels that are like one out of a thousand and already and they had already tried the one I, I was trying and they had not cleared it I don't know how much they tried it like I said 500 500 plus lives I don't know if it was just the one particular dedicated player who had tried this level like several hundred times or it also had like 43 uh, footprints on it so uh, it might might be the same guy over and over again coming back to it might not be um, I would love to clear that level though it's really good uh, but you know it's 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 you know the the speed run that I booed earlier you know you might see this next level and you say well you didn't get more than five inches into this one or you gave this one a heart and you gave that one a boo and it's like I don't know it's it's just it's Likes and boos are my prerogative, and sometimes it's not logical, obviously. But I, I felt like that was a well-designed level, and the uh, the cape speed run that I had earlier wasn't. By the way, I also got a random level when I was looking for this one just this morning, where <clears throat> it had like 600 tries. It was a cape speed run, uh, Super Mario World, and it had like 650 tries, and I'm like. I, I just went past that one. I usually won't do that. That's the first time I've ever done it, to be honest. Uh, just because I had spent so much time on that other cape speedrun. I already had a cape speedrun this video. And I had spent a, over an hour playing the, uh, the next level. Plus, probably another hour looking at these other levels that this creator had. Um, yeah. So, I was like, I'm not in the mood right now. I should have saved it just for later, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're on to this hard Mario number three. Uh, Miyamoto H. Yeah, look this guy up. His his levels are crazy. Um, this one this one seems like it could be doable, but there there is like there are a couple of parts that are so hard that that I just didn't want to do. Oh, by the way, uh, one of my regular viewers, Shane, he always comments did beat that troll level from last week. So congratulations to him. Maybe he can take this one on too. He, he uh, recently made a, an incredibly difficult speed run in this style in New Super Mario Bros. U uh, that I also, I probably got 20 seconds into that one and I couldn't, 
Couldn't take it anymore. But yeah, that's, um... I'm only gonna show a few tries at the beginning, and then I'm gonna show the best try, and maybe a couple of tries after that. Uh, yeah, you have to go under this. Under the spike. Which isn't as hard as I'm making it look right now. It just took a took a, a bit of practice. Yep, Z jump. If you do it at the right angle, you can get that key bounce up. This is this is the best try I had. Uh, this part is extremely hard, jumping up on those skull platforms. Uh, and then this part right here, uh, the slide into a twirl. I couldn't get that right after that try um, because. It, it just wouldn't come out of the duck, the slide animation. I, I don't know why. Yeah, getting up these skull platforms is the really hard part. Anyway, if you've stuck around this long, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck on this level, Shane. <laughs> um, yeah, have a nice day. Please like, comment, subscribe. Oh, the Metroidvania, level 7 out of 10. What? <laughs>